Hey guys, Anthony Pietrovoni here back with another video and in today's video we're going to make an update video for the previous one where I went over a trade I made that expired yesterday, Friday, October 1st. And what we're going to do is show how I actually rolled over the position to take care of a loss. So like I said, as in one of the advanced options, you can roll over positions if one of them actually goes against you. I said there was strong support on charge point at $20. And it broke 20 and actually went as low as high 18s. So showed weakness in the stock. I rolled over the position and we're gonna dive into how I managed to save a losing options trading position and turn it into a potential winner. Give this video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. And subscribe for more options trading, stock trading and portfolio updates. If you're looking to build your own portfolio to achieve financial freedom, then this is the channel for you. So without further ado, we're gonna dive right into the video. As you'll see on the chart, Charge point actually broke right through my support and got pushed up when it hit below 19. This is all while the major indexes were green. So this to me shows a lot of weakness in the stock, continued weakness. I was expecting this to hold if the major indexes went up. What you'll see is the Russell was up 1.6% and Charge point had a horrible day. Charge point is a smaller cap company, so you would expect Charge point to be rising when the Russell is actually rising. We didn't see that today. The RSI is turning down, Stochastic is turning down on the daily chart. Heading out to the weekly chart, you'll see some bottoming formation that looks like is it about to be happening in the Stochastic. The RSI is turning down, Stochastic is turning down on the daily chart. Heading out to the weekly chart, you'll see some bottoming formation that looks like is it about to be happening in the Stochastic. It might be headed for an upturn. But what I actually ended up doing was closing out the position when charge point was trade at $19.26 yesterday on Friday. And I had to pay 84 cents per contract at 100 contracts, which means I had to pay $8,400 to close it. I set this trade. September 16th and the position was charge point the 20 strike expiring October 1st and I collected 76 cents per contract when the stock was trading at $20.88 on that day 100 contracts equals 7600 US so basically I pocketed 7600 US I waited two weeks and I had to pay 8400 US to close it so you're looking at a net loss of about $800 now what I did was I rolled out the position rolling out the position means I push it out to a farther date. Now, since I saw the weakness in charge point, I didn't like what I was seeing because it broke major support. I wasn't happy with that. So I actually, I actually chose a different stock, which is Blink. Blink is another charging company with half the market cap of charge point. And why, why I chose Blink was two reasons, higher implied volatility and more strength on the chart. So I chose the October 15th expiration. I collected $2 per contract while the stock was trading at 28.26 on the day yesterday and I chose 80 contracts, which is 232,000 worth if I was to actually purchase. Now remember, with my trading strategy, I don't let it actually get exercised. So what gets taken up is the buying power instead to purchase $232,000 worth of Blink. I wanted to choose amount of contracts which would be close to the same amount as charge point. How you get to the amount that's worth is you multiply the strike you chose by the contracts. So 29 strike by 80 contracts, 232K worth. Charge point was 20 strike times 100 contracts was 200K worth. I collected 16,000 US and the expiration is October 15th. So I rolled it out two weeks and I chose a strike that is a little above the current price of Blink. I could have chose the 20 strike on charge point and collected pretty much the same amount, maybe a little bit less, but I didn't like the weakness in charge point. If you take a look at Blink now, on the chart, yes, we are seeing this downtrend. We're seeing major support at 26. We're more due for a bounce with Blink on the daily chart. I'm looking at more strength here compared to charge point. Down 1% of the day as, as opposed to 3.4% a day, breaking through the major support. This, this doesn't give me good faith and confidence that we're gonna have that bounce and continue higher. On Blink, we're seeing there's more faith that we're gonna have that continuation because we had less selling pressure over the weeks compared to charge point. Anytime a certain stock has more strength in a market, it's likely to continue unless there's more signs coming up of weakness. What I am seeing is that there's a higher probability that we're gonna have a bounce in the near term and continue to hold up around that 30 level in the coming two weeks. Now, if that does happen, if we do reclaim that 29, 30 level in the next two weeks, then this expires worthless. I keep the 16,000 US and over the course of the month now, essentially, 
because this, this trade goes back to September 16th and now will expire October 15th. We'll see that I would have collected a total of 16,000 US over the month with this, this trade. Because what we have to factor in is we collected 7,600, but over two weeks, we actually ended up taking an $800 loss. And then now it's now going to be about an $8,000 gain. Factoring in all those, starting from September 16th to October 15th, with, with using the same amount of capital, we'll be collecting 16,000 US if, again, Blink closes above 29 by October 15th. There you have it. That's how I roll out potential losing positions to turn it into a gain by using time with our own favor, looking at the charts and seeing how the companies are doing in the overall market, making adjustments and rolling out positions so we have more theta decay on our hands. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if this strategy helped you learn how you can potentially roll out your losing positions and continue to grow your portfolio. I'm going to spend a couple more hours on the charts this weekend. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.